And then I wear a, a, a aber. Um, uh, the Molly Coddle is a person in this poem, so I put I have to put a an aber, and it's got little red and yellow things hanging down on it, and uh, it's kind of a well, it has to do a little bit with marijuana. And, uh, <laughs> Seriously, I've got her where I want her and control of females. Where I want her oiling my cannon, cleaning my guns, cooking my dishes, and clocking my runs. Other than that, I allow her to scratch under my thumb. When we're at Morty's, we all get drunk and change around our lives and go for a dip. <laughs> This was from a, uh, uh, this is from a, a poster at Bernalillo Mercantile. And I hang this up, and I say, I am not a hummingbird, I am not a flower, and I ask, what does that mean to you? What, does it have any significance, and what do you have to say about that? You might have something to say about it. But you in. Elementary school, you'll come up with some. <laughs> <laughs> well, my take on it is language thing. You know, that's mm -hmm. not the hummingbird's language, that's not the flower's mm -hmm. language, something like that. You know, that's kind of a kind of picture. On the board, I have a little instruction for all this. As simple as that rock, no more to be said, given away in the saying of it. And then I write on the board underneath that, the ideal poem is one that does not exist, and I immediately erase that. <laughs> <laughs> and when I write the first, you know, I hold up the rock. Simple. Simple. Just poetry alone, isn't it? 